As the days went by, few engines, including me, were able to leave the yard and help out with the work to clear the line. Most of the line was cleared by the fourth day. But, as I was heading home after a day's work without, I could see smoke rising in the air. I saw that the smoke was coming from the yards. I informed my driver and he rushed us over. Al and I had reached the yard, and as the scene unveiled before us more and more, our hearts sank. Every engine, except for me, Al, Duke, and Lyson, had been in the yards that day. And everything was destroyed. And all was in the woods. Liam, there's nothing we can do. I am sorry. But for now, we will have to leave the railway. We will gather what supplies we can from the wreckage, but we have to get to another line. It's too dangerous to stay here. I agree. Liam, apparently you were right. Something was fishy, and here it is. Apparently, someone wanted us all out. They wanted the railway gone. Driver, take us to Lions Gate Village. We can gather more supplies there. That would be the last time I would ride on those rails. The A and BLR railway was now in disarray, shambles. What was left was not worth staying for. All we could do now is find new work and offer our services for anyone willing to hire us. But the stories of the A and BLR railway engines would live on with us. Excellent. The yard is destroyed. One down, with many more to fall before us. Soon rails will be a thing of memory, history. Although it looks as though we missed some engines, about four. They shouldn't pose a threat to us. Liger, prepare the next operation. Yes sir, Liger out. As we began to retreat from the horror which lay before us, another plane flew overhead. I had seen this plane before. I only thought it to be a farmer or a small parachute business. My driver had told me about those. He said it was fun. I thought falling out of a plane was dumb and stupid. I told him I could never do that. He called me silly. We traveled down the line with the boxcars we could gather. A small siding was still in decent condition to run a small engine. So Lyson went ahead and gathered the few cars in the siding. We left shortly after and headed towards Lions Gate Village. Once we reached the station, our drivers explained the situation and said they would gladly accept any work that we could provide. However, Lionsgate was a smaller route, built for small diesel engines. But lately, the line had very few engines at a time. Currently, it only had one. 
so we provided what work we could. Lion Cave Village had a route that led directly to Four Corn City. The city was home to the main lines of the state. And so, over the next few days, we all adjusted to life on a new line. Reporters and cameras were all over the old line. They were gathering information on the line, its history, and possible threats to other lines. It had turned out that some other lines were also shut down, and railways were being hit here and there across the country. The smaller lines consisting of most of seem seemed to survive through most of the madness. But the worst was still to come.